So it's been a little while since I covered Crusaders of Crypto, but the team contacted me a while back and wanted to know if I wanted to do another sponsored video to take a look at some of the new earning mechanics. I hadn't visited in a little while, so I was like, there's new earning mechanics? It's actually NFTs. They did, they redid the website. You can go to how to earn now, and it even says buy Crusader to unlock NFT drops. The more Crusader you hold, the higher the chance to find NFTs. They have a whole market and everything set up. We're going to go through this today, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how I have progressing through the dungeons, which, by the way, I still have to touch if you didn't, if you doubt it at, at all. Use NFTs in the game for an advantage. Faster, easier dungeon clears result in more NFTs. Sell excess NFTs on the marketplace to other players. Find something rare, sell it to them for a premium. Sell excess NFTs to the NFT vendor, our unique NFT buyback system. You don't have to wait for a buyer. You can actually just sell back to the NFT vendor if you want to. Now, they offer low fixed prices for the NFTs, but it gives players a guaranteed way to earn, which is really, really cool. That way, people that just like to play the game over and over again don't have to wait for some sort of giveaway or to rank first on the leaderboards. They can actually just grind and get NFTs and sell those back for a guaranteed return, as well as the old earning methods like just gaining residuals off the transactions that happen for owning and holding Crusader tokens. So I'm jumping into a game that I have been playing for a few minutes now, and I've cleared most of the dungeon already. There's only a couple rooms left to go through and I've managed to grab a bunch of potions as well as a full set of equipment. Now, this is one of the new monsters that are available and something that may be represented in NFTs to decorate your home dungeon and stuff. I'll show you that in a minute, but first we need to kill this guy. Now I'm currently using the staff if y'all saw from my inventory and I'm getting a little bit of regeneration. So I'm healing up through almost all the battles. There's the staircase right there. So the only room that we have left to go in is this one. And it looks like there's some new UI elements or alerts when things are happening here. I don't want this guy to creep on me. So I'm actually going to use well actually i'm gonna go do this and they took quite a bit of health from me man quite a bit of health but thankfully the staff was able to do a little bit of damage first so we have the last bit of the dungeon cleared and we're gonna want to go grab this last little pack I think that's it, right? No, I did miss one more room. Okay, last room wasn't that bad. Let's go ahead and go down the stairs and you remember this guy, Flash Lonius. This was the first boss that we fought the first time we actually actually reviewed this game and they changed it quite a bit since then. So let's see if we can beat him this time. So the first thing that we'll want to do is start hitting him and we're going to get a little bit of re re regeneration. So he is gearing up to do a special attack. Now, I'm too far away from any of the barriers right here to hide from him. If I ran away, he would probably still hit me and I need to do as much damage as possible. So I'm going to continue to hit him and he's using his flash loan attack and he did 29 points of damage. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use a large green regeneration potion. And now he killed me because I couldn't get behind the the barriers fast enough. So unfortunately, I did not do as well as I thought I did. I'm much better on the mummy, but it does show you what your scores are and you can go to save and share. Now, this is basically how you get the chance to get NFTs. If you're holding the token at the time of your death or <laughs> victory, as <laughs> some, some people might get, you can go to share link here. And once you share and save, you're entered into a, a percentage role that you may get this NFT. So you go to return to main menu. You want to log in using your wallet again, and you could go to home dungeon. Now, home dungeon is where it says, you know, the, the squirrel kind of directs you where to go. You can go to your mailbox here and see if there's anything that you received. You could go to your crystal ball and kind of see what type of bonuses you're eligible for based on the different amounts of tokens that you have and the difficulty levels of the dungeons because there are difficulty levels now that you can select from. So right now, the total increase percent chance that we have is 0.33%. 
Normal mode chance is an extra 1% to get NFTs, hard mode is 2.21, and expert mode is 5% chance. So you get, a, you get a quite a bit for going up in these difficulty levels, but it also shows you the NFT bonuses, the total increases for normal, hard, and expert for the rupee drop rates as well. So you have your NFT drop rates here and you have your rupee drop rates. So you can check out some of these systems on this little flow chart, like rupee for instance was something that I wasn't very familiar with, but you can buy NFTs with rupees and you can earn rupees just by holding the Crusader token. Now if there were any NFTs available, you would see them here in your mailbox that you can claim and there's also an expedition mode now this is pretty interesting expeditions are a daily click way to earn daily crusader rewards and have a chance at expedition exclusive nfts daily rewards equal a bunch of the token <laughs> plus the chance for exclusive nfts the reward received when claiming daily is based off of three primary factors which are how large the expedition play to earn crusader pool is how much Crusader you hold or Crusader tokens you hold and how many distinct NFTs you hold. So the way this works is you can buy this for this many Crusader tokens, which I think is 100 billion. The current cost to enable expeditions is 100 billion. And then you can start claiming this forever because this is a lifetime buy. So once you buy this, you can come in and claim every single day. So you always get a bonus of tokens every time you claim every single day. But for the first 20 days, you actually get 5 billion tokens flat. So it returns over 20 days, 100 billion total tokens. But you'll be getting bonuses every day based on the amount of currency that you have in Crusader tokens. And you get even more after that because every single day you click, even though you're not getting the 5 billion per day anymore, you're still getting a bonus. So it pays you over lifetime. In addition to the token rewards that you claim, you actually get a chance to get an NFT every single day that you claim and that you can find that on the mailbox that we mentioned earlier. Once you get any NFTs in your mailbox or on the market and you display them, they will be here in the appropriate area. You have an equipment showcase showing all the NFTs that you've collected as far as equipment. There'll be more that's going to come out in the future or whatever. You got all your consumable NFTs here and all of the monster NFTs as well. So if you hear, see here, you'll see what they are based on the monsters that you've already encountered and some of them that you haven't encountered with empty rooms. And of course, if you forgot, you can go down the hall to the right from the Squirrel of Truth and go to claim your own BNB, which is the rewards for all of the sales and taxes that have happened on the Crusader token through pancake swap and stuff like that. There's a tax involved that allows anybody that holds the token to get a percentage of the profits and this is where you claim that you could go to loot the room here and collect your bnb directly to your wallet just by paying your gas fees. and if you go back to the home page you could click on the marketplace and go to see all of the nfts available being sold their prices their limits the type of NFTs they are. You can browse the market as well as go to the rupee store and claim your rupees. You could buy buffs, which enable you to get more rupee drops and you can buy NFTs with your rupees as well. All right now I have claimable 132. You can have a maximum of 5,000 before you have to start using them. And as you can see, missing code has a 5,000 rupee price but everything else from the rupee store right now is a thousand. Naturally, if you own any of the NFTs, you could go to my listings to list or see your listings that you currently have, your NFTs where you can view them if you had some, and of course, a link back to go play the game and try for more. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed Crusaders of Crypto. I'm gonna try to earn a little bit and do some updates on some of the NFT drops that I get maybe just by Twitter post or whatever. Do me a favor, if you like this type of content, make sure to let me know in the comments and check out the links in the description below. I'll have all the links for Crusaders of Crypto, my older videos in a playlist for them. And if you wanna check us out and talk with us in Discord, we'd love to have you. We always share info about play to earn games and NFTs, and I'd love to see you around the community, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Lulvian signing off, and we'll see you next time.